Mass is the measure of the amount of matter in an object. Mass does not vary with an object's location in the universe, but weight does because it depends on gravity. The instrument that we use to measure mass is called a triple beam balance. It's important for you to know and use the correct terms for the parts of the triple beam balance so that you can communicate effectively with your teacher and with other students. This is the pan under which the object is placed. These are the beams. This is a triple beam balance because there are three of these beams. These are the riders, and this is the pointer. When measuring mass, the first thing to do is to make sure that your pointer lines up exactly with the zero, while the riders are each on zero. If that's not the case, tell your teacher so that he or she can make the appropriate adjustment. Next, we place the object to be masked onto the pan. You'll notice that the pointer rises and goes above zero. That's because the mass on the pan is greater than the mass added together on all three beams with the riders in this position. Balances work like a teeter-totter. The object to be masked is on one seat of the teeter-totter and moving the riders farther out onto the beams is like adding masses of known amounts to the other teeter-totter seat. When both sides are equal, they are said to balance. Then we know that the mass of the object is equal to the sum of the masses on the other seat. Now we have to move the riders on our balance to increase the mass on the beam side. First, the rider with the most mass, the middle one, the 100 gram one, is moved. It's very important that this rider is always moved into one of these notches and not allowed to rest between notches. The rider is moved notch by notch until the pointer falls below the zero mark. Then the rider is backed up one notch. Second, the 10 gram rider is moved in exactly the same way. It is advanced until the pointer drops below the zero mark and then it is backed up one notch. Third, the front rider is moved. There are no notches on the front beam. This rider is gently moved until the pointer exactly matches up with the zero mark. Finally, the mass of all three beams is added. That gives us 100 plus 40. And the reading on the front rider is between 4 and 5 grams. And since there are 10 small marks between the 4 and the 5, each of these small marks represents a tenth of a gram, and the pointer has passed the fourth of these smallest marks, so that makes the reading on the front beam 4.4 .4 so far. Lastly, we divide the space between the two smallest marks, the four-tenths and five-tenths marks, into ten even smaller imaginary divisions and write down as our last digit which of these imaginary marks the pointer falls on. I believe that the pointer rests on the sixth of those imaginary marks, making the reading on the front rider 4.46. Finally, we write the mass of the front rider, which is 4.46, add all three together to get the total mass of our object, which is 144.46, and don't forget the last thing, which is to put your units in. In this case, mass is measured in grams.